Hi everyone, Digga here. Welcome to Tokyo Game Show VR. What the heck is this amazing thing? Well, this is a free digital convention that basically is like Fantasy Star meets Comic-Con meets E3 meets PAX, whatever you want to call it. It's really freaking cool. It's a separate app and you don't actually need a VR headset to do it. So I'm playing this, uh, this is the regular PC version. It looks really freaking cool. I tried it out last night and there's collectibles and robots and trailers and all sorts of crazy stuff. It's a great time. And it's once again, totally free. Can you dig it? We are gonna be on the game float, a giant like VR maritime fortress. And there's also a sky deck. Oh, we're getting started. Okay, let's just hop right in. This is so cool. Digimon now. Literally our war game. Tele-existence surrogate system is activated. We will now begin a tutorial. So look how freaking cool this is. They drop you off in this big tutorial area and you get to customize your character and all sorts of crazy stuff. This is a little friend I made last night. This is uh, this is the little uh, Digibot. He's really cute. Hello, I am you and you are me. You're connected to my site now. My name is TTS Type G. I'm a member of the Game Float crew and will be your personal avatar. So anytime you can press escape, check out all sorts of cool stuff. You have the option to have your mic on. Obviously, I don't think they want just some like dude blabbering around the convention hall. <laughs> so I have that off. There's the option here for unlockables. The main goal is to, I believe, look at all the trailers and find little secrets. These fragments of crystals up here let you unlock all sorts of cool things. There's also another area called the sky. It's not just, they don't just toss you into the sky. It's this entire separate, I think it's supposed to be like a cargo plane or something that delivers costumes. It's a, a little thing that's integrated with some, a separate app that you can download that lets you get custom costumes and stuff that you can wear during the convention or through the door app. It's really complex and I couldn't quite grasp all of it in the span of a night. The shop itself is apparently staffed by actual VTubers and I went through the list on the website. Unfortunately, I do not recognize a single one of them, but it is really cool that that is an option, that they actually have people who will be there, supposedly. Every single item has uh, all sorts of great details. Actually, VR was invented more than 50 years ago. Did you know that, chat? Here's the shirt. Here's when it comes out. Here's where you can buy it. I don't know if you can actually buy the products in the United States, but let's casually show your friends you're participating. I and I am, yes. And this is the Katakana letter shirt. So you start off with these three. There's a lot to collect. Obviously, there's 84 crystals. Let's get a move on, shall we? You're now controlling me remotely. Please refer to the user guide. You can hide the help icon so clicking the on and off button in the upper left hand corner. So very basic stuff. Obviously with VR it'd be different. You'd be using like the wiggly hands to kind of like jitter your way over. <laughs> I don't really know how it works, but you do like the throwy ball thingy. I don't know. It's just wazzed, uh, confirm, watch movies, all that stuff. It's all good. So what's really cool is since it's basically just a giant, I don't want to say it's an exhibit hall. It's more like an exhibit dome because it isn't a giant fortress, right? It's massive. It's huge. There is so much to cover. I don't even know if I'm gonna get to all of it in time today. <laughs> in order to get goodies, you have to click on the video at least once and exit out. Phony images and videos are like holograms. You can grab and pull them. When you're in this venue, you can grab images. Please try as you go along. Then the video expands. If you wish to put it back, close, all that stuff. So here's the channels feature. This is another really cool thing. Basically, you can be in the same room as 12 other people, not just specific other people, your friends. You can have your friends with you. I don't know who's gonna show up. Other visitors are also in this venue. My camera shows up to 12 people. If you want to play with your friends or play solo, please choose another channel. So here's the Fragments of Crystal. When you obtain Fragments of Crystal that has information and memories of games, you can put them on my body. Hmm, it's literally like a bunch of t-shirts and stuff. We'd like to ask a favor. I have something to ask of you regarding the Fragments of Crystal. I'll tell you more in the Core Central. I could be here for four hours. Anytime you go through the transportation tunnel, your channel ID will change again. That's a pretty good way to handle it, actually. How do you use hello? I've already done the obligatory, can you dig it? There's not much more I can do. You can change your color, which is really cool. Obviously went straight for blue. And hello, you can have a short message greeting. Up to 12 Japanese characters and 24 alphanumeric characters. There's no question mark. It's like I'm telling people, can you dig it? They're like, um, is that a question? No, I hope you actually do. 
Gamers can use voice chat. Yeah, but don't do that though. <laughs> That's how you hear the bad things from the mean people. You can enter any text such as greetings to other gamers. I will always say, can you dig it? Because that is the best message I can message out to people. Well, are you ready now? Touch this gate and you will enter the real world. Welcome to the world of TGSVR 2021. Let's go. Look at this. Your we vision is now connected to the reality. We are happy Whoa. to see you here in Game Float. This facility floating on the sea is built for all game fans. This is so cool. And can be accessed from home. Enjoy your time at Game Float. We have entered into the Game Float chat. Welcome to the Maritime Behemoth Fortress Balloon Thingy. We are in Tokyo Game Show VR 2021 together. Look at this fantastic display of goodness here. I'm gonna go straight into the arc reactor and now you can't see a thing. Yeah, I fi we finally made it to Japan. We did it. This is the trip. But you only get one. <laughs> oh, this is so freaking cool. And unlike a real convention, we can take our time and not have to worry about things. Let's just look at all these amazing posters. This has every single Tokyo Game Show poster, as far as I can tell, right down the line by year. You can even zoom in, wiggle it around. Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm just gonna take this poster with me. <laughs> Did he just take a poster from the freebie booth and leave the convention? <laughs> but seriously, this is really freaking cool. CESA presenting from the very beginning. We have, I don't even know how to start with this. Uh, just like a cool uh, sort of retro future vibe. I'm digging that. Maybe I should just go left to right. Uh... I want to take this one with me though. This is the one I'm taking. This is my freebie poster. <laughs> Did he just grab the Sonic human poster and leave TGS? <laughs> Dig is stealing live on stream. Oh no. <laughs> but it's a it's an image. I'm going to be on best behavior. Look at this gigantic friend in this lovely family here. Just having a wonderful time watching the uh, 2000s entertainment of your life TGS. Uh, 2002 was a giant controller podium thing? Two giant robots where their heads are inside the controller. This is giving me vibes of Good Smile, like all the digital one hobbies. You can go click around. It reminds me of that, except on just like an insanely grandiose scale. Like imagine this for, um, for like PAX or Comic-Con or something. Forget that in-person event, let's do this. This also runs really smoothly and it doesn't have like a big bulk of CPU for some reason. I'm thinking back to the Devolver conference. I really like that game. The fact that they, they straight up just had like convention hall you could walk through, but it was also a game and there were robots and stuff. I want more of this. I want more of the digital convention. This is so freaking cool. I'm gonna be here for like an hour, sorry. 2004 was like a big old uh, blocky, blocky display. Really, uh, really chic. Very cool. 2007 was some sort of crazy party here. The Square Enix stream starts at 3 a.m. Oh, I'll be up. <laughs> I'll be up for that. I'll just jump out of bed at like 2:30. I'm not digging here. I'll call this, we're Sora. I'll just shout that in the morning. I'm sure everyone will love that. <laughs> we're Sora. See you in Smash. I think the answer to that is no. <laughs> Look at this 2011 one. This is very like, um, it's almost like a Bayonetta meets Pulse Man. That's a really cool character design. Bayonetta Lightyear. This is for uh, 2013. This is very like, I want to say like a mix between ZX, ZX Advent and a little bit of EXE in there. It's all Mega Man references. That's all I've got. <laughs> Here we have what appears to be some sort of uh, Queen Space Miku, like floating into the abyss. Clearly my number nine reference. <laughs> I can't disprove that. Half an hour into the stream and we're not even inside the convention hall yet. Jen's like, I did this in a few hours. I'm like, hmm, this might be my evening. This is the TGS 2021 poster. It's really cool. I like this a lot. Like the, the colors are really pop in. The gaming aesthetic is done in a very classy way. 
Look at that save back there. Are those Jet Set Radio boots in the background? A little figure on the desk, like a, a mini. Oh, I forgot to turn off channel rewards. <laughs> but I'll honor your friendly mole for the sake of it. How's it going, buddy? When you visit Japan, where are some of the places you'd most want to visit or things you'd most want to do? Well, here's the thing. A lot of the stuff that I want to do is kind of just basically like toy related or toku related. And I know usually you're supposed to say, I want to go to the shrines. I want to visit the forest. Everything is so beautiful and lush there. I'm just like, take me to the biggest ami ami you have. Where's the Kirby Cafe? I want to go eat like that Waddle D uh, bun or whatever it was. Where's the official Kamen Rider store? <laughs> Do I not get enough Ami Ami as it is? Seriously, what am I even doing to myself? I could reach down to my desk and be like, here's a Pokemon Tournament Gengar prize figure I got from Ami Ami pre-owned like 2017. Secondhand shops. On top of that thought, there's also, you know, just the insane amount of arcades. There's so many crane game plays. I, I'm a, a crane game addict, but it would be nice to be able to experience all the really freaking good food and all the different locations. Maybe when we're allowed to travel there in like 50 years, we can finally make a trip. Let's continue the Tokyo Game Show 2021, shall we? Here's the other one. It's a very cool iRobot display with like a, a really nice rendered VR headset area. I don't know. Who's ready to finally go inside? <laughs> Here's our ticket. We're good to go. TGS was held online last year. It taught us many things. Being online, anyone could participate from anywhere. What if we take this in a more positive direction? and make it an even more immersive experience. See your favorite characters right in front of you. Visit booths as if you were wandering around inside the gaming world. Just watch out for Diaboromon, he might get you. With this idea, we are taking on the challenge of building the game show of the future. It's a grand experiment. So we invite you to be a witness to history and be a part of building the TGS VR together. Let's go. Welcome to Tokyo Game Show VR 2021. Whoa. Okay. This is super freaking cool. Let's turn it up a bit. This is so awesome. Look at this. Wow, there's like an entire, again, this, this, whew. Look at the game spinning. <laughs> Leaked Delta Room Chapter 3 location. <laughs> Gosh darn it, Chris, where the heck are we? Tokyo Game Show, what's that? Hello, little friend. Hello, welcome to the main hall of Game Flow. Oh, thank you. Much appreciated. Look at these tiles. Absolutely pristine, just completely clean. Well, this isn't something you would ever really be able to see in real life, huh? Here's a giant statuettes of Sonic, uh, a Chocobo, Magna Malo, uh, I believe that's the RX-78. Is that the original Gundam? There's um, Anime Dude, uh, that one character from, um, what's it called? So everyone has a description for all of the different statues. Free-spirited blue hedgehog who will always help those in need. The fastest thing alive, it's Sonic, you know it. The latest entry in the Chocobo series, Chocobo GP, will release in 2022. Uh-oh, there's an error going on. Let's ignore that for now. This righteous morality and respect, Zhu Liang, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, repaid the honor of Liu Bei's three visits by serving him. Momotaro Densetsu series is a board game that has a history of 30 years and loved by many generations. That's pretty cool. Also, hello to the giant Gundam in the middle of the room. <laughs> we gotta address this. This soundtrack is freaking bopping. Holy cow. Insufficient fragments of crystal. I'm having troubles because I can't connect to the system. Uh-oh, we're gonna have to find those fragments of crystal then. Can you see the sky above us? We are now located at 150 meters below the sea level. The dome kind of prisms upward into a central point. I thought the sky was fragmented at first, but it's, um, you know, it's, it's, going, it's going up there. All those game worlds are so good. Each fragment of crystal contains memories and data of a game. Try grabbing different things in this venue to collect them. Hello, I'm a member of the maintenance crew. Current crystal status is level one. So there's basically like a uh, Fantasy Star Online sort of elements to this. It's really cool. And it might just get me to get Fantasy Star Online. <laughs> no, I can't get addicted. No, I won't do it. You can't get me. You might get me. Yeah, it's Sonic. Look at him right there. We have a message from Among Us. 
I love it when they do those Twitter threads where the voice actors actually interact, and it makes some really great memes. King Solomon has come from Vigard. Does that mean the uh, Megiddo are somewhere nearby? There may be ample photons here. It's a saber reference. This monster is Magnamalo, originating from Monster Hunter Rise, one of the newest games in the Monster Hunter series. I should play that again. <laughs> so there's all of these different areas. There's the urban area, cool choice. There's the digital area. There's the VR costume port, which goes up into the sky. There's the um, wild area, again, not from Sword and Shield. And there's also a special area um, somewhere. We have an emergency broadcast. The ship game float was designed to connect global gamers. However, the ship was hacked by a computer virus. Oh no. Oh, it really is Diaboromon. <laughs> It reached the core central and shattered the crystal of connections. Without this crystal, the ship could not maintain a platform for connections. Therefore, we are about to fail the directive. Uh-oh. Attention all global gamers. Tokyo Game Show VR needs your help. In order to keep the place afloat, they need your those wacky digits on. <laughs> global gamers, please help us in this mission to restore the crystal of connections by collecting the fragments of crystal. These contain information and memories vital to games within the venue. The true success of our mission depends on you. Yeah, the core area has uh, the main hall, the theater, the entrance, uh, the VR costume port. The wild area has the Attack on Titan Hexa Ride, the 360 degree experience, Capcom, Koei, all that good stuff. Digital area, Bandai Namco, uh, Square Enix, Sega Atlas, Vark, even level five is here. We can ask them where Yokai Watch 4 is because I'd really like to play that game. We could just take, uh, maybe just take four plus plus and just kind of, I'm just gonna translate it a little bit. You know. I'd be forever in your debt. And the urban area is uh, Dino with the Macross stuff, Konami, the VR shop. I think we'll start with the digital area that has like a bulk of the really, really, really cool stuff. And we can go ask level five for uh, Yokai Watch 4. From here on is digital area. Please enjoy visiting a special room and corporate spaces. Let's go. Heading in to the digital room. Let's do this. You are now entering the digital area. Whoa. This looks so cool. Wow. <laughs> this is very impressive. Look at, <laughs> look at the little Pac-Man and the ghosts running around. Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde. All visualized in this digital realm. Wow, this looks super impressive. Look at this. Like this entire background over here with like, are those the other areas that we're gonna be going to? This is so cool. Look at this. And they all connect right through that giant dome in the center. Wow, this is honestly breathtaking. Uh, I think what I'll do, um, again, I'm not gonna be able to watch these live. I'm gonna do the smart thing and uh, just turn off the video. Let's start with Sonic Colors Ultimate. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, look at the sky. The sky is so bright. It is very bright in the sky. <laughs> we found a fragment crystal. Sonic face t-shirt. So as soon as you go to one of these videos and exit out, you will get a fragments of crystal. This first one is the Sonic face t-shirt. We gotta be repping, right? This year marks Sonic's 30th anniversary. With his signature blue spikes and blazing speed, Sonic the Hedgehog is recognizable anywhere. You would think that in kanji, Sonic the Hedgehog who runs at the speed of sound would be written by its meaning as... But his name is actually transliterated as... You found it easiest just to go one by one because there's so many? Yeah, that's, that makes sense, Jen. I figured I'm just gonna, you know, walk by each one of these, uh, talk about the game a little bit if I know anything about it. If I don't, I'll just say nonsense and we'll pick up the newest goodie. They did like a totally different statue in here too? This is very impressive. Uh, there is our good friend Jack. He ho for Atlas. Uh, this game is, uh, what was it called again? It's um, the Flippy Flippy, oh. <laughs> this is Shin Mikami Tensei 5. <laughs> I didn't recognize that. What a pro gamer, right? Uh, the latest title in the Shin Mikami Tensei series is finally coming to Switch on Thursday, November 11th. 
This title will deliver an unparalleled new demon experience by combining the unique charm of the series of high quality visuals and the latest hardware. It's weird because I love Tokyo Mirage Sessions. I played through the Wii U version, I played through the Switch version, and I like the gameplay, but for some reason I never get into SMT. Which is weird because it's the same gameplay and the gameplay is addicting, but I've never tried it. We had a Jack Frost t-shirt though. I'm thinking maybe I'll look at all these videos and we'll go through everything at the end. I'm not really sure what to do, but we'll just go for it. Ah, Lost Judgment. That's, um, where's Dan? I need him to tell me about how great this game is because I've never played the first one. Yeah, but hello there. How are you doing good, sir? Fantasy Star Online 2. Did you get uh, crystals from these, Jen? You should be getting them, right? Is it because I had the menu up? Hey, Super Monkey Ball, that looks really fun. Mahjong, very exciting. Oh, here we have uh, Project Sekai Colorful Stage. This is coming out in the US this year, I think. I've always been a big fan of Future Tone and um, any sort of rhythm game, I'm just, I just go nuts for. I wonder why I'm not getting fragments for this. Okay, not all of them give something, thank you. Yes, the channel ID does indeed change between the hub, the game, the theater, the special content, and the avatar area. I have yet to see anybody though. Oh, you want to join? Yeah, I mean, that sounds like fun. Oh, who do I see in the distance over there? A friendly face. Uh, someone's kind of freaking out. I don't know who that is. Hey, it's Jen. Welcome. I can't jump or do like any like the, the Minecraft jumpy stuff. I'm a little curious to see who this person is. I'm sorry, Jen, I didn't mean to immediately ditch you. I feel bad now, <laughs> but I just want to, who is this? Oh, well, hello there. I can't like, I don't know how to wave. <laughs> Am I waving? <laughs> you need VR to wave, okay. Hmm. Look at this. We got like a, an entire uh, lovely get together going on right now. This is super duper cool. I love this so much. Well, we can kind of do like the, like a shuffle, like a dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I'm just shaking back and forth violently. I'm over here trying to be like, hey, hello friends. And they see me going like, <laughs> I gotta get out of here, man. Have fun. Hooray! I suppose we should probably uh, move on, but this is so unique. Like, I, I don't think we'll see anyone else, honestly. Pac-Man, yay. Pac-Man, yay. <laughs> we gotta get very archaic here. This is the, the most unique, wholesome interaction I've had in an online arena in a very long time. Should we ask them to form a party? A uh, party, party together? Party together, fun. Look at these Scarlet Nexus anime characters. I've heard this game's really good. Oh, is that, um, is that Famitsu up in the corner there? Look at that. Just straight up like a Famitsu issue. Can I grab that? Oh, I can. Oh, cool. Look at that. It's like a straight on weekly Famitsu right here. That's fantastic. <laughs> I thought that was the person at first, but then I realized that's the, uh, you go toward the anime characters and they talk. Yeah, there's so much stuff to click. I, I can't, what do I, what is this, an S? Did I just take like the, um, is this like in Smash where you hold up the S flag and you get the extra life? I don't even know how I grabbed that, honestly. Look at all these characters. I don't suppose clicking on these people um, does anything. I think that's just like regular posters. Oh, we got Kakarot coming soon to the Nintendo Switch. Or isn't it out now, I think? My favorite part about this is that the, um, everything's running smoothly, except when I clicked on that random dude, Obs is like, oh, your encoding is overloaded. In a world where anime characters unite to fight. That's right. I guess I'll look at all the Tales of Arise stuff. I will finally try a Tales game one of these days. Oh, there's the Hoodle Doll. A Hoodle Doll armed with a replica blazing sword. Welcome to the Hoodle Squad. <laughs> this is the weirdest, coolest experience. Oh, here's the new character for Tekken 7. Oh, the pixel set. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, here's all the Idol Master stuff. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. I'm not really into it, but I know there's a lot of people that really enjoy it. Do we continue the Sega Atlas section? I guess we should maybe do those before we go into the um, the special area. Oh, we have another friend here. What is happening? There's actually people here. 
Hello, Nobi Nobi. That's really cool. And they're already leaving. <laughs> there is a friend over here I wanted to check out really quickly. Yeah, there's so much to see. I, I feel like I'm gonna miss like everything. Have you found any fragments of crystal? There are 83 of them. Some are hidden and others are rewards for watching videos. Oh, this was the 2006 TGS. Look at those premium black dots. Very formal. Oh, well, hello there, Hope Don't Know Ken. Dun dun dun. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, the Tokyo Games Music Fest. Is there like a digital performance? I don't know. Gah. Well, hello, Jen. <laughs> Who's that behind me? <laughs> hello. Nerd robot. Crystal is the heart of this ship. Without it, our tech Celestia and surrogate system would stop working. His name is really Nerd Robot, huh? Tele existence. Spoiler robot. Oh, can't look at that. Sorry, chat. Didn't mean to spoil. T-shirts change with new fragments, but it's not a real T-shirt. It is display data on the chest. Well, that is a huge spoiler. I thought I was getting all the T-shirts after this. You know what we should do? We should play YouTubers Life 2. In a world where 16 million plus people are trying to become famous at the same time. In the YouTubers Life, you gotta be number one. You must. <laughs> Welcome to YouTubers Life, everybody. You're gonna do all sorts of funny, crazy videos. I'm gonna prank my parents. <laughs> I just dropped their car in a dumpster. Thank you for putting up with me. Vark. It's like, uh, I think this is another sort of uh, virtual idol thing. Yeah, there's there's some really cool platforms out there that allow for uh, really high quality digital stuff. I think this is mobile. Are these VTubers as well? Yeah, I think, um, who do I recognize? Was that the Joker? I'm sorry, I'm, I do not remember their names, but it's, it's really cool. I thought that, you know, VTubing as a medium is really interesting because I'm always a big fan of new tech and seeing creative ways to put yourself out there. Some of those models can cost thousands of dollars. So, you know, big props if you can afford that. Wait, you can go up here? Hello, down there. There, there, there. I ended up at the top somehow, somehow, somehow. This looks like it's just straight up like a Famitsu Alley almost. Oh. Oh, I didn't even see over there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Click the letters in the glowy box. Oh yeah, I did grab, uh, I grabbed an S earlier. Another lovely Famitsu, I don't even know like any of the names of the characters. I do remember, I think they put one or two of these characters in Super Mario Maker as costumes. I keep getting stuck because I forget to close the second menu. <laughs> I, I can't move, help. Oh, this is the one where they were showing off the uh, Super Famicom and the Mega Drive. Is that the word DLC? What's DLC doing in like, what issue was this? Oh, this might be for the mini actually. So there was an S, an E and an A. Very oceanic. Gotta grab the E now. Oh, this one is really cool. Look at this. I'm loving the colors. Just the, the burst, the freshness. This is so nice. There's also a little hamster floating in there. <laughs> Look at that little guy. Is he okay? Don't mind the fact that I just phased through. Hey, you okay there, little guy? So this is the 2021. I like that a lot. I already saw this one, but there is the G for Sega. That is right. Got stuck again. I really need to hit escape. <laughs> Sega. Oh man, I'm gonna come down the ramp. Ready for this, Jen? I'm gonna go super speed. Three, two, one. Let's go. Did I win? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I thought you just gave up on me <laughs> after what I just did going very slowly. Yeah, I'm out of here. Oh, that's the, um, oh, what was it called? The Megaton Musashi? That's the giant mech game that level five has been working on since like, what, 2016? It's now coming out on Switch and PS4. I think it'd make a really cool figure. Like, a, I mean, most things make a cool figure, but that would be a really cool, like a, a robot spirits or even if it gets really big, like um, a soul of Chagokin. Would you like to take a survey? Uh, another Famitsu issue up here. Oh, I remember this one. This one has like a really cool dragon friend on it. We're just gonna walk into the shirts. Thunk, thunk, thunk. 
Go to Amazon official shop. I don't think I'll do that right now. I guess I'll head up into the, uh, the Donkey Kong Ewok display. Ooh. A pot. I wonder what happens if you drop it by mistake. Uh-oh. It's fine. <laughs> Played too many Zelda games. Yeah, there's a lot of surprises here. This is really... I, I, I can't stop saying this, but it's really freaking cool. Game float exists somewhere on Earth, but the location is kept secret and direct access is found. TSS is forbidden, so be careful. Isn't this technically direct access? Or is that the viruses? What's the lore here? I mean, we're allowed in here. Oh, look, there's a little, uh, little something here. Oh, you can show me the one that took you the longest to find? Okay, that sounds cool. I probably won't find it either immediately, but... I did get this box, though. There is still a lot to go. Yeah, I only have 20 of the 84. There is so much left to do. Here's another crate. I'm gonna take it with me. This is, uh, my official... dig crate unboxing. Does it show up on your side that I took this, or is it just me holding it looking weird? <laughs> How could you be sure that this world is real? That's a little too serious. Is it visible for you? Okay. Well, let it be known that I have brought the box all the way over here for no apparent reason. Another chest. Oh, look at this snowboarding friend. I'm gonna fall into the Rathalos. <laughs> Oh, speaking of, there is a Rathalos, of course, for Stories 2. Neki the Fox. That was the name of the character. Yes. This is Gung Ho, Online Entertainment. Okay. It's all about the professionals. I could not be a professional mobile game player. These people have what it takes. I do not. I just stream video games for the internet for hours on end. <laughs> oh. There's a giant heart egg here. I like that. It's telling me, come on. Oh! I recognize that little egg friend. I think that's the Puzzle and Dragons one, right? Tamadra! Egg dragon, duh. Oh, this one has a lot of scrolling. I might as well read it while I'm here. Over 7,000 monsters to collect. Puzzle and Dragons is a puzzle RPG game with over 57 million downloads in Japan. It came out in 2012, geez. I just remember they did the crossover with the... They did the Mario crossover, didn't they, for the 3DS? Plays a bit of the strongest team. Explore dungeons. Battle a variety of powerful foes. In 2021, there is a Puzzle and Dragons Champions Cup. Okay, well, I, I like Tamadra, so I'm gonna wear that shirt. <laughs> good luck to everyone involved. Let's get a good shot of the Rathalos here. Whoa. It's gonna get you. You better watch out. Let's see here. Nice promo shots. The big Rathalos itself. Technically, it has, uh, what's the name? It has a different name in stories. It's like Raiswing? I think it was Raiswing Rathalos. I have the amiibo. The Raiswing Rathalos. In the digital flesh? Instantly have, like, all of my amiibo nearby. <laughs> Some more vids up here to find. That's the new, uh, what, what was the name of that? Like a, a toasty bird or whatever. Big, big, give me something to work with here. <laughs> Mon Hun Boo. Uh, scary? Oh, we can also move the video as well. Whoa, slightly disorienting. Don't know, never fought him. Anyway. What I do know is the Magnum Allo. An absolute behemoth. I have, don't think I've, have I fought him yet? I don't remember if I fought him yet or not. Every single Monster Hunter game. I'm gonna get the collector's edition. Then I won't play the game after 12 hours. I think I forgot these videos. Yes, there's Tsukino. <laughs> the amiibo guy has all the amiibo, right? <laughs> I like these, these sculpts are really nice. They're, they're really high quality. We've come a long way from Link with the yellow stand. Uh, we're coming close to the Attack on Titan exhibit. Here's the big Sunbreak trailer. I think everyone's seen that by now. I believe that's everything, unless there's a way to get up to those. Ugh, that's not a good view. Let's get a move on. There. We're, we're still in one of the pavilions. There's still like four things else to do. Actually, we still have to go all the way back to the other side. Whoops. Does this like loop to all the other ones? It's a circle, okay. <laughs> Thank you. I needed the reassurance. The completionist in me is always like, I'm gonna do this thing off to the side that looks funny. Oops, that was progress. I can't go back there anymore. 
So we are now over in the uh, wild area. Well, we are in the wild area. We moved over here because we went through Capcom. I understand now, it all makes sense. This is the Attack on Titan 3D experience or whatever it was called. Hex Ride. Welcome to the Hex Ride exhibit. Enter into these fantastic hexagonal chairs and be teleported into brand new world, world worlds featuring Attack on Titan, a franchise I know nothing about. Here is Meatball Man and his other friends going on a grand quest to find the nearest subway. I feel like we should save the big stuff for last. Like, we should explore the main area and then hit the other smaller stuff. Alt, don't open that door. You <laughs> were almost a chill sandwich. Is there maybe a secret hiding over here? No, but it does look lovely. Look at these waterfalls. I'm just over here in the background, like, staring at waterfalls in the corner. Like, where did he go? What is he doing? <laughs> Hello. I lost myself. Don't mind me. I will always explore every corner just in case there's an off chance that I might fall through the world by mistake. See, there's a part of me that wants to click on all of these because the game showed earlier that there were clickable chests and barrels and stuff. Oh, the house. Thank you. I almost forgot. Much appreciated. Now here's one you can click on. Cool. I'm going to give this to the giant ape dude. Here you go, buddy. Enjoy. I'm gonna just clip it through your knee. I'm sure you're totally fine with that. <laughs> wow, this is almost like, um... This is almost like some sort of medieval experience now. We've come to the Renaissance Fair, supposedly. Gah. Just clip right through that ceiling. Okay, that's totally cool. That's, uh, which one is that? Uh, Air, Aaron, uh, Edgar? I don't know their names. I want to do, like, reaction commands to hop between the rocks. That's what I want to do right now. Like, boom, 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 boom. Just hop right over there. I suppose there's nothing else up here, huh? But it's really cool. I feel like we're in some sort of abandoned ancient MMO. I don't know why. Like, this, this is, like, post-humanity where they just have a remembrance capsule of what used to be, and they're hosting a game show or something. Welcome to the wild area. The smell of earth and grass. It feels so alive. Yeah, it's only robots. You know, they're talking about how we're, you know, this is like a, um, a body we're controlling, so maybe, maybe humanity is long gone. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't think I want to think too deeply about this lore. Hey, it's Koei Tecmo. In a world full of chain armor links to humanity long distant past a man will smirk as he knows he is rad as heck nobunaga's ambition thank you that's the one i've never personally played any of them but i think it looks pretty cool i think this is a visual novel or at least a sequel to one and a facsimile of a pony <laughs> what okay we gotta look at this shirt who is that squishy friend I apparently put it on. Oh, it's one of the Ryza characters. Why did we get that from a blue reflection trailer? A surprisingly realistic facsimile of a puni. You might even find yourself mistaking it for the real thing. People have been known to become startled and attack it out of nowhere. Did Ryza 2 really release in 2020? <laughs> Has it been out this whole time? I still gotta play the first game. Oh, I see some bubble bobble over there. Uh, I think this one was Dynasty Warriors? In a world. <laughs> I, no, I can't keep doing that. Yes, Dynasty Warriors 9, even though that says 8, though. Here's yet another uh, Weekly Famitsu. This one apparently featured Mother 2. We got Earthbound in there. Pretty fancy. Oh, there's definitely stuff up there. How Can I... I can reach that, right? The 1,000th issue. Look at all of those friends. Uh, more importantly... I'm sorry, did they just let like a roar? Was that like a... Ah! Yeah! For all my Puzzle Bobble fans. Yeah! -ha! Yeah! -ha! Yeah! -ha! Yeah! -ha! That's enough of that. So this is for Puzzle Bobble 3D Vacation Odyssey. Oh, it's a VR. Duh. But it's 3D and it's a VR. Why don't you know it's a VR game? Yeah! -ha! 
It is cool you can differentiate the videos because the pictures just have the wooden backing and the videos have like the, the smooth screen. Survivos, bubbling 35th anniversary. Look at these adorable friends, Bubble and Bobble. What's gonna happen? Oh no! <laughs> it's a VR. Uh, here is a bunch of anime characters again. D Decide, Trom Tremary, Un Undernight Inbirth, EXE Latest. Ah, yes, a boat. A mystery adventure. Who done it? But there's also the Dark Realm. Oh, that guy's got some swag. Just remember, chat, you can decide the trauma tray yourself. I did find Jessica, though. Blades will cross. Friendships will shatter. And if you don't respond, there will be consequences to your actions. Stare at the moon as you and your friends gather together to face the end. And then there's another one up here. Well, whatever that is, it looks interesting and I'll check it out later. But we have some more stuff to explore up here. Sorry to keep you waiting, Jen. <laughs> Ooh, a barrel. So exciting. I grabbed it. I got distracted by the random anime characters. I don't know who they are. I've never met them before. But they're interesting. <laughs> now, that's a cool thing. Yeah, I love that you just have the freedom to explore, do whatever you want, you know. If this was a regular convention, there'd be so many people. You'd be bustling down the halls, barely have enough time to do anything. Here you can just soak it in, and you don't have to spend like $10 on hot dogs. Though that does sound kind of good right now. There's a giant bridge that goes over the uh, the side trauma ray people through uh, Donkey Kong land. This is the one you missed? Oh, well. Oh. The lamp. You can click on the lamp? What? I would have literally just walked right by that. Yes, thank you. That'll save a lot of backtracking. I don't even think I want to know how long it took you to find that. You can kind of notice it reacting, but you wouldn't expect it. It's in the background. And yeah, the that big poster's right next to it. That's just all kinds of wrong. Yeah, when you said you missed the item, I, I got to this chest and I'm like, it's right here. Oh, I see. I missed it too. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. I can't believe it was in just like a, a hidden, uh, we're not gonna even talk about this one. It was just in like a, a little hidden lamp out of nowhere. Yay, I love games in high places. I'm glad you're easygoing. It's, it's hard to be easygoing in this day and age. I try my best to bring some positive goofiness. I don't know why I'm looking at these closely when we already saw them all at the start, but I will touch this barrel again. Oh. Oh, we have some friends! We have more friends down there! Oh gosh, do we, uh, do we go- I think we gotta go there real quick. Wait, friends, come back! I wanna say hi! I wanna say hello! It's more important than whatever this is. The dramatic music plays as we go to find our adventurous friends. <laughs> Wait, come back! Hello! Hello! Hi, friends. Yay! This is so cute. This is the Ministry of the Environment. A very cool choice. I don't know who these characters are, but I'm sure that they're incredibly popular and people like them. Oh, <laughs> they're still waving. Waving, fun, yay. You have to keep it like, like broken down because there's not enough room to type in here. We have like these little Minecraft characters. And off they go. Bye friends. Cube man, that's right. Look at that cube man. Ugh, the things he's seen. Yeah, I'm wondering that too, Jen. I'm thinking, is there gonna be new stuff added as it continues? I know that they already have the shuffling VTubers for the the Sky Deck Experience shop thingy, but I wonder if they're gonna toss in more things. Uh, so I don't actually know what this stuff is. Instead of being uninformed, I will use the power of the internet to look it up. Cool choice. Japan's national movement to encourage decarbonized products, services, and lifestyles to achieve the goal of reducing the nation's greenhouse gas emissions. That is a cool choice. I can get behind that totally. 
I'm accidentally clicking through these. I need to read these later. Let's go to the second floor. Is that the Master Sword? No, that's a lamp. <laughs> I thought they had the Master Sword in just like a, a basic office area. Uh, an external page. Could you perchance tell me all about the dangers of global warming? Take it away. Hold on, I need to hand them the mic. Take it away. A lovely interview. <laughs> I think this is like a little tree display, but I want to press it like a button. I want to like just go like thunk. I want to hit this button like I'm answering a trivia question. Bing bong. The correct answer was gas. Choose your options. A, that. B, that. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to say B. B is my final answer. Oh. I'm so sorry, Ministry of the Environment. I failed you. But that's okay, because we can go to Cool Choice City, apparently. Oh, this is so cool. I'm trapped in a forest of my own making. There's even like a, a halo ring here. I guess there's no, um, there's no specific crystals here, but that's probably because it's a rather important issue. Oh, there's the Sky Blimp! That's the place we gotta go to. Let's talk to this little robot friend. The sea breeze hurts my body. I wonder what I am made of. Cognizant robots a little bit, uh, I feel bad for him. You said you live across the ocean. I'd like to go there someday. Yes, the, the the very limited remnants of humanity live there. Ooh, stuff I can buy. There's always so many cool designer shirts. I'm like, it'd be really cool to get that, but I'm pretty sure that I'm like taller than their biggest size. <laughs> I gotta knock myself down a peg. Oh, look at this lovely little walkway. Very, very festival. Yeah, Famitsu has been around for a very long time. And there's a barrel here, too. Oh, we're heading into Konami. There's the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Nice. Show off, robot. You see the videos floating in the air, right? They don't actually exist. They're virtual screens that overwrite an avatar's camera. What I'm getting from this is nothing is real. Nothing exists in this world. And it's slightly concerning, but also interesting. I'm gonna grab this chest over here. Wait. Oh, there's some Pokemon representation. Let's go. Angry robot. Trying to disconnect us is unforgivable. I'm talking about the virus. What? You have the same problem in your country? Oh, oh, oh. well, angry robot. Let me let you in on a little uh, secret here. It's a pretty big deal globally. <laughs> oh, you mean the computer virus? Yeah, 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 that one. I think I need to circle back because I've lost Jen. Or rather, Jen's lost me again. <laughs> Because I just wander all over the place. Let me just grab this real quick. Well, I mean, I, I don't blame you because I also do not have the best sense of direction. If we're both lost together, we'll eventually find each other, I think. I'm more... Oh, see? It all worked out. Thumbs up. <laughs> I'm just impressed being able to do this with friends. This is so cool. This one is obviously in the foreground. I'm gonna have a lot of reading to do later. We're at 49 of 84. We got a long way to go. You can even sit in the theater together. Now that sounds pretty darn cool. As much as I love Yu-Gi-Oh, well, this is super Hearthstone. Pendulum, sea summoning stuff. That's way beyond my time. I'm not really in it for that. I sound like, like a Yu-Gi-Oh boomer. Back in my day, we didn't have all that fancy stuff past GX and you had to use uh, the fusions to summon the, the, the thousand year dragon stuff. Oh yeah, the Castlevania Advance Collection. I, I forgot that that dropped. That is out right now. Well, I mean, they just gave it to me for free, so how can I say no? Here's the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duel. Um, this is the one that came with the Amiibo cards. I actually ended up canceling mine because... Uh, oh, well. We're just gonna ignore that. <laughs> How do we advertise a children's card game? Well, get some dudes wearing some short shorts. <laughs> you, you forgot to warn me about that one. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> oh, I remember this. I think this is like the uh, the Switch cooking game. Hello, dude. 
Are you going to uh, make something a delirious? I'm pretty sure this is a cooking game, right? This might just be a visual novel. I could have sworn I saw like a, this had cooking in it or something. And you're like, okay, what's up? What was that sheep? Did you see that sheep right there? That sheep, I don't know what to say about that. I don't know what to say about that sheep. Tokimeki Memorial Girl Side. Okay. I'm sure that it is a fun game that someone will enjoy playing. Oh, I can actually get on the stand here. I know the feeling. <laughs> I play these obscure games, I'm like, this story is insane. Why do I have no one to talk about this with? <laughs> Can someone please play this like obscure story? I, I swear, it gets really crazy like 10 hours in. You're like, uh, well, I mean, I could do that or I could play Halo. We need to gather all the obscure Twitch streamers. Hey, everybody. Do you like obscure, cool games? Let's all have a game club together. Hi there, buddy robot. Oh, and hi. Welcome to the urban area. A city has many temptations. Don't you get excited when you visit a city in a game? Heck yeah. I sure do. I don't even know what this says, but it's probably some sort of cool idol thing. Kowashi Tai! <laughs> I'm just gonna play Tokyo Mirage Sessions for the third time, don't mind me. I think this is Macross. Yeah, the, that looks like, I recognize, uh, I recognize this lady. I know that this, this franchise is extremely popular, but I've never watched it. They're like, oh, don't you wanna watch like, you wanna watch the English version, right? No, not really, I wanna, uh, well, they won't let us. Putting yourself out there is even tougher. It's, it's, I'm, I'm amazed that I ever got this far, honestly. <laughs> Watch my first stream, like, woof. That guy had no confidence. I don't know what this is, but it, I think it's a gotcha. I don't know if I'll get into that, though. I'll well, save the special content for later. Oh, there's the inside part, too. Oh, that's that guy from earlier. I don't remember his name. Also, did that person just move? Dina, presenting something mysterious. Something delirious, something tearious. The statues from the ancient past have come to life in this crazy world. There's a shaman man. He brought forth the destruction from the Iblis trigger. Is this like uh, an RPG Time Hollow? I love Time Hollow. That was a fun DS game, but again, obscure game that no one I knew ever played. <laughs> I want to talk to someone about Time Hollow. Megadomi Awards. Oh, they even have like the opening here too. Oh, Megiddo72. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm gonna write that down for later. I'm not putting down, like, free-to-play stuff. I just don't really play it as much except for Kingdom Hearts Unchained X when that was out. This is the full-on opening. I'm sure it's amazing. I will watch that later. I love a good anime opening and ending. Oh, excuse me, good sir. Do you have a moment to talk about Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp Effie? It came out on the Wii U and it was ported to the Nintendo Switch. They added new stuff for the Encore Edition. It was pretty cool. No, you just want to talk about mobile games? Okay. That's totally fine. I noticed this little jukebox over here. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, what is this? Crusted cheese triangle billiards? It actually, it looks like a very delicious pastry. Uh, nothing on the jukebox, nothing to click on here, nothing at the bar. Your finest water, please. Though maybe this lantern might reveal a secret. No, okay. What if I just stand in the corner? I'm gonna hide in this corner for all eternity. Is there anything else? Doesn't look like it. More importantly, we also have a uh, giant Pokemon Masters EX display. Are we gonna get a Pokemon shirt? Giovanni. Remember that they used to do the stage play? They had like a, a romance song for Misty. It was weird times in the early Pokemon days. Oh, they rented out an entire theater for this. Thelonia Othello, Othello Wars? What's going on there? Sign of an Othelonian. What? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Let's just, uh, let's get out of here while we can. Ooh, another nice, lovely weekly from Mitsu. There's some more chests over here. I have a feeling we're not even like 60% done. Curious robot, who's controlling you remotely? What country are you connecting from? Pretty suspicious. I don't know what he's gonna do with that information. Don't mind me, I'm just charging ahead, getting a few barrels before uh, I come back. This one was a fake out barrel though, that, that got bamboozled. I have been uh, hoodwinked, backstabbed, and quite frankly, even tricked. Yeah, it's just so fun to explore, you know, take all the pictures you could ever want and just enjoy this giant realm. But this looks really cool. Oh, you can just walk away. Well, that's rude. <laughs> And now I have to wait for it again. Hey, it's Frog! It's our boy from Chrono Trigger! 
Nice! There he is. I was wondering where he went after all these years. A lot of really cool characters here. Yeah, this is, uh, this is Don Machi, uh, Bell Coon and whatever. Oh, I forgot this over here, too. Fourth anniversary? See, this is the kind of stuff you would never see and suddenly here we are like, oh, this cool thing from around the world is already, it's been out for four years. My latest one was, um, I had like a song in my head. It's like, what is that from? Oh, it's La La Land. That came out in 2016. <laughs> that was five years ago. Where did the time go? Now, uh, what else do we have here? Ooh, we got some candy. I'm gonna walk up onto the barrels. This is my life now. Step right up, step right up. Get your suckers, suckers for suckers. I mean, uh, <clears throat> hello, Jen. Would you like uh, uh, a spot of tea? A gigantic, comically sized Disney Parks lollipop? Or might I interest you in a, uh, a barrel full of root beer? Everything? All right, cool. That'll be, uh, that'll be 10 grand. I can't really see over the counter very well, so you're gonna have to toss the money. That makes me feel bad about myself. <laughs> you telepathically sent it through the power of robotics. All right, I will telepathically send you this gigantic uh, Disney Parks. I'm sorry, I just grabbed the Famitsu. Never mind, change of plans. Here's your Famitsu issue. You can't see it, but it's there. The treasure boxes look so obvious, don't they? Uh, yeah, thanks, Cynical Robot. I noticed it's a cart, though. 57 of 84. Yeah, I think that if they had the uh, accessories or interacting with things a bit more like Pokemon Fest. Oh, I forgot to do that. Oh, like, do I record that? Eh, whatever. Who's gonna watch that now? Oh, the egg is on my face. That is true, you recorded it. I could watch yours. Yeah, they had rides and stuff. I don't know why I totally forgot. Is this the, uh, I think this is the VR exclusive um, virtual no uh, visual virtual novel. Technically it's a virtual novel, right? <laughs> It did look really interesting, like the, the idea of having a VR exclusive uh, visual novel, all the stuff you could do. Look into the eyes of people as you command a giant mech. Ah, it's Lavos! Oh no! Tokyo Kronos, Beyond Kronos, Other Kronos, Dyschronia. Okay, why? There's like 50 of these. Hold on a second. There's an entire franchise here that I thought was just one game. This is nuts. Second work? When did these come out? This is a VR mystery adventure that eight childhood friends are trapped inside Shibuya that don't have anyone other than them. This is just the world ends with you. Gah. Hello, miss. How are you doing floating up in the sky like that? It's very impressive. I'm assuming they're not going to do a non-VR version. That's the whole, the whole draw. But that's a really cool idea. I like that. I like it a lot. Let's get all this Dyschronia stuff. I wonder if there's actually gonna be like one of the VTubers by the time we get to the sky area. Cause I, they have the times on the website. Probably not, but it would be interesting to see like a bunch of people gathered around. This area gives me the vibes of when you go to uh, at Disneyland, they have that area where you can get the giant Mickey. It's not the waffles, what was it? There's like a little side area near Main Street that has like the, the powdered donuts, like the giant Mickey ones. This looks just like that. They have like the barrel tables or maybe I'm crazy. But it, it seems very familiar. Maybe I just want to go to Disneyland again. <laughs> anyway, this is the uh, based off of that series of uh, the girl that teases the guy. And there's the uh, the sequel series that's super popular. Yeah, Takagi-san. It's a pretty big franchise. It's really cool that they have like this entire like big setup here for it. How much we got left? Uh, we're at 64 of 84. There are 20 crystals left. I think we looped around. I'm so excited about these new games, as long as we have games we can connect to each other. Try channel on the menu to meet friends. We're actually in the same place, but many are hidden to decrease TSS load, so that's smart. All right, we made it back. Now we're gonna spell out TGS, maybe? Oh, this is the, the 3D Land issue. Remember 3D Land? Pretty good game. Yeah, I gotta find the missing stuff. We still have uh, this whole section I haven't covered yet. Like anything from Square Enix to there, I guess there's 20 things hidden in here somewhere. Are you okay with VR sickness? Try both slide and teleport mode. What? You should rest once in a while. Well, don't you worry, caring robot. It's very nice of you to care. However, I'm using tilt controls. Hmm. <laughs> there's 30 TGS photos which are numbered that are from items and then the rest are from videos. All right. 
I was a little blurb about the 3DS and Vita on this one. It's like a weird stroll going down memory lane, but not having the memories for this. I'm having nostalgia for things that I, I shouldn't have nostalgia for. There's the G. But that's the great thing about the internet. You can find all sorts of cool stuff. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> the internet's cool because there's stuff on it. Let me just go ahead and walk backwards down this. No big deal. Hello, giant people. How are you doing in this place? Good to see ya. I almost accidentally exited out of the game because I was zoomed in so close. What else do we have here? It's the guidebooks. I know Dengeki very well because I always end up following their website when there's new uh, like Tamashii Nations events. 2022, uh, there's some sort of VR museum. Hello, Translucent Cube. I'm trying to read this, thank you. Watch this pro gamer beat Mio 2 with only his scanner. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, the 35th anniversary of Weekly Famitsu. There's some sort of game thing. Elden Ring. Uh, we couldn't go through a digital convention without seeing Elden Ring, could we? Those kind of games, there's so much detail and love that goes into them that I don't know if they're gonna like be able to have that done by January. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. This is gonna be interesting because a lot of the music is pretty copyrighted. It's like, it's hard for these kind of games because a lot of the charm comes from the songs. And if you have the streamer versions, they play like do 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 do, or they don't play music at all. And it kind of just, it's a big bummer. It's almost like why stream it when I could just play it and get the actual music. Oh, these are the Saga games, that's right. I found Silcat Man. Oh, and the Final Fantasy Pixel Remasters. 72 of 84. Something tells me I'm missing, uh, I'm, I missed a few on the way. <laughs> Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster series is one through six, and it came to life with stuff. Ah, uh, here's the Chocobo GP. This looks really cute. I'm actually pretty excited for this. I'm not super knowledgeable of Final Fantasy, besides I played through six, and I played, um, I played Theater Rhythm. That's about it. Well, this is that card game. This was during the, uh, the Direct. So it looks like I'm missing 12 somehow. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm pretty sure I clicked everything besides the photos though, so I don't know what what I could have been missing. Letters and balloons. You know what? I didn't click on any balloons. You're right. Yeah, I need to go back and just like click everything. Yeah, I should check first and see if I have all the TGS posters. Um, you said there's about, uh, you said there's 30 of them. Okay. I'm missing five, seven, eight, and 28 to 30. I guess it's time to go on a giant voyage, Pac-Man. There's some balloons on top of the blue ramp. Oh, I see them, okay. Let's go. I didn't even process that I could click those, honestly. Like, oh, pretty balloons. Oh, they have stuff, all right. Let me see if like, if you mouse over them. Yeah, yeah, they do show up. Yeah, okay, all right. There's 29. Oh, you can send me screenshots if I need them. All right, thanks. <laughs> I might need those soon. But I'll do a lap first and we'll see how it goes. Maybe I should click the pelican. Yeah, hey! Oh, I didn't even see this little guy actually. TVGS, no, VTGS had created the game flow. It was founded in 2016, wait, maybe 2017? Anyway, the first year of VR era. I have no idea what happened to time, but that's okay. Because this is a seaplane. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea how I'm missing stuff. I clicked like everything. This is insane. I love this. I already got all these barrels and stuff. Apparently I didn't get that barrel though. This is the Dina stuff. I already clicked on all these. Oh, I thought there was gonna be a secret back here. <laughs> Apparently not. The best part of obscure game hunting when no one has a guide. <laughs> oh, I did see something over here. Oh, okay. Hello, random balloons. I guess you're here too. All right. Oh, no, Jen, please don't don't feel obligated to make a guide. You don't have to do that for me. I appreciate it, though. Also, it'd be really, uh, it'd be cool to have an obscure pot on your site that would be like, uh, I experienced this and this is how I did it. It could be good for some uh, future cred, you know? You can tell people I was there and this was how I did it because no one else documented it. Yeah, exactly. You have it recorded, so you did do it. That's like the fifth time I've examined that balloon. And that's the second time I fell for the fake barrel. I like that you can just randomly click on stuff from super far away. It's really funny and it lets you clip things through. This is my wagon now. We gotta get this wagon trail moving. 
It is really cool because I've always felt like for these uh, these sort of conventions, I always feel a disconnect, obviously, because I'm in the US and I'm not overseas, but it's really cool actually being able to experience this. And it's such a bummer that so many people, there's a chest. That's number eight. It's such a bummer that so many people will never actually try this. Uh, I think that the digital area has the best music. I really like how chill it is. Uh, let's see where we're at now. So we need two more posters. Then there's just six regular items that I somehow missed. I did the eSports stuff. I didn't do all the eSports stuff. <laughs> yeah, some areas do have a lot of videos. I was expecting going into this that every video would give you something. I guess that's very Pavlovian. <laughs> I clicked on a thing. Where's my reward? Give me internet fake thing, please. Thank you very much. Oh, I didn't do this one. This looks very... Oh, this is, uh, what was it? The Adventure of Die or something? I thought at, at first it, it reminded me of, like, um, Kiniku Man for some reason. And we're back at the start again. Oh, you sent them to me? Thank you. I'll do one more sweep, and if I miss them, I'll, I'll check. I'm gonna be very thorough. I am a huge fan of collect-a-thons. I'm not going to miss out. See, there's a balloon up here. I mean, I really appreciate the help, but please don't feel obligated to go through your video to try to find these just so I can find them. We're in this together, because I don't think anyone I know is going to be playing this. I love uh, doing just deep dives into obscurity, and I will not stop. I mean, I'll get to a point where it's, again, like with Deltarune, I did that whole eight-hour stream until 1 a.m. because Toby has a control over my life, but I will admit defeat every once in a while. You know, there's a part of me that always wants to have, like, the perfect stream, like, okay, I did this and I experienced it and it's all in one like six hour compartment that I can maybe make highlights of later, but I beat the game or I could just toss it up on YouTube. You know, it's hard making highlights takes forever. So I end up like when I did FF6, that ended up being something around 20 parts. That was like November 2020. It's almost going to be November 2021. Well, here's the anime people that talk when you go close to them. Oh, I didn't know I was an anime person, too. <laughs> I'm gonna walk toward the anime characters. Can you dig it? <laughs> I hear my own voice. Wait a minute. I don't know how you get better than this. Like, can this be the standard for conventions going forward? Can I just peruse a digital realm of people online? Give us our own friend rooms and stuff? Like, this whole idea of you're limited to 12 people, not only does it help us with server stuff, but you can have all your friends together. It's so freaking cool. Honestly, a lot more impressive than like, oh, let me go uh, get squished in the convention hall because I can't move and it's stinky. <laughs> I may have to take up Jen's offer on comparing and contrasting where I'm missing stuff. What am I missing? I'm not taking- wait, a selfie? Oh! That's really cute! The first one I'm missing, two yellow birds. Yeah, I don't- I thought I clicked on all the Monster Hunter stuff. I, I didn't realize I missed out on a Palamute. Oh, I'm, I'm missing one of the- uh, I'm missing literally the Puzzle and Dragon logo. Uh, those three people... Ah, oh, there was a fourth person, the, the cherry hair girl from, uh, I don't remember the name. It, it was a cool name. It's like the most obscure teamwork I've ever done. <laughs> and I'm loving every second of it. I got the logo, got the kid. Is that a taper? Is that a bulbous taper? Oh, it's the Vark. Durr, it's an aardvark. Brain, hello. Knock, knock. McFly, Earth to McFly, hello. Dater, dater, dater. Got a 56K modem up there. Uh, I still need the seventh poster. And then, at the very end, I guess that's it. Yeah, okay, cool. So, we need the two yellow birds, the Palamute, the Puzzle Dragon logo, the cherry hair girl from the Reverb game, uh, the Bulbous Taper, and then the, the seventh one. Uh, I think it'd be smarter to backtrack, because we have to go that way for everything else anyway, except maybe the, uh, the birds of the Maracas. I don't remember where that's from. Maraca birds. The two yellow birds. Think, think, use your brain. Where would Maraca birds be? They didn't. They don't even have maracas. They just look like they have maracas. Oh, they're outside the area. Okay, <laughs> that's the one you were talking about earlier. All right, all right. Somehow I missed a palamute. Where's the palamute that I missed? Was it that one? Durr. That's the, the face that I'm just making right now. Like, really. <laughs> Durr. Next is going to be, I literally clicked on all of these gung-ho videos. How did I miss the logo? It was probably this one. I, I, I probably didn't even click on the one to the side over here. 
It's Varkun. I like that guy. Varkun is uh, adorable. Now that's a plush I can get behind. I thought it was a taper, but it's an aardvark. I guess there's a trailer I didn't press over here somewhere. This music is also very like, welcome to the world of Pokemon. Your journey is about to begin. Gengar. <laughs> oh, that's not a starter Pokemon. Why are you fighting that Nidorino? Gengar. That's an image. That's a picture. That's a poster. That's an icon. That's the video. Was it this one? Kowashitai. Uh, what am I missing here? Wasn't it this one? No, it was the other one. Gosh darn it. I think it was over. It, I could have literally just done it here, right? No, it was the other one. It was the one that was by the jungle. I don't know why I didn't go there when I walked backward. This was the one. Decide true may. I think I missed this one. No, I got that one. It was like, uh, it was this one probably. There's Rena. Seven is up the stairs near the Konami thing with the giant blue tube you can walk in and the floating girl. And the barrel, it's by the barrel? But I clicked the barrel. That Was that the fake out barrel? It's a barrel you can click by a poster. It's by the giant blue tube. The giant blue tube. It's the other side. The giant blue tube. Further down, the giant blue tube. Bad with directions. It can't be this one. I clicked on this one earlier. That is 83 of the 84 fragments of crystal. Yeah, they all look similar. I, I, they're all barrels and I got faked out by the fake out barrel. How was I supposed to know that one was real? Here's the fake out barrel. This is the one I keep falling for. And maybe that's what psyched me out of it. I didn't even try for the other one. Yeah, at least it wasn't the lantern exactly. That one would have been rough. Oh, it's in the Avatar Depot area? Okay. Yeah, in the main hub, yeah. We still gotta visit all that other stuff. We gotta go to the sky. I think I'm just gonna like hop into these real quick and I'll probably exit immediately. Maybe not the attack on Titan one, that one looks cool. Wait, there's a little area down here. There's an office. Look at this. Don't forget. Don't forget me. <laughs> think you can take me? You're done. The more ordained guards, never forget. This is really cool. Yeah, it, it's it's a cool office, but there's, there's not really much to do in here. Here's a calendar. January, February, March, May, June, July, August, September. Does that say July, August, December? July, August, December, September, October, November? I was just looking at this as a joke. I didn't think there would actually be like a, a wrong direction for this. All right, well, um, I'm gonna go ahead and experience this stuff. This is the Idol Master Starlet Season Special Live. There's not gonna be any music for this. And it won't stay very long, but uh, we can experience it a little bit. This is actually really cool. Like there, oh, that was it. It's done. All right, we're done. Let's get out of here. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, there's an entire like giant area to walk around. Oh, here they come. There's the dance troupe. They're doing their best. They're doing a fantastic job. Pretend there's music here. Dun, 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 dun. Hoppy, steppy, peppy music. We're gonna be grooving. We're doing this thing. Dancing together, regardless of weather, no matter whatever happens. <laughs> something, something, we'll be best friends. Dancing, dancing until the end. All those kind of generic idol songs. So let's be friends and get along. Cool, we're done. <laughs> I can't wait to go to the uh, Attack on Titan experience and have it just be totally silent. Pretend like, what's the Attack on Titan song? It's like, do 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 something, something, something. I never watched it or read it, so I don't know. Let's go on the Hexaride Attack on Titan 360 degree experience D4. It looks like an empty coliseum, but it's not. It's actually a massive experience. Here we go. Step onto the platform and experience. Attack on Titan, whoa. Oh, this is actually really cool. Oh, look, I can see everything. It's like those, uh, the 4D experience at like Universal Studios, like the Kong one. Oh, this is really cool. This is really, really cool. Look at this. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. You look like a Titan too. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna defeat these Titans with you. 
can they actually like defeat titans like how do humans defeat them like how does this franchise work oh there's a giant gorilla boy thank you thank you very much i have so many people to thank for this i mean i never thought i would be here where i was today please please simmer down the applause i really appreciate it you see exploring the tokyo game show in vr oh please the v uh, please the applause i can't take any more all right that's enough of that that was really cool though you know i'm i'm just jokes aside that was a really fun little experience this whole thing is amazing i love it so much it ended up viewing the guy just getting smacked <laughs> like the fly swatter just dunk then people applauded our demise so that's all I know about Attack on Titan. There's giant dudes, there's other people that fight the giant dudes, and apparently you go on like a 4D adventure ride, and then you get smacked in the end and it's all over. We still have to do the uh, the Macross experience, which is going to be very empty, <laughs> because, you know, one of the big to-dos about Macross is the music. And without the music, again, it's just like playing a game in streamer mode. I'm doing dancing to this crazy music! Haha! -ha! You're really rocking the dance floor. Is this the last one? This might be the last one. And then we'll go out to do the other stuff. Special content. Utah Macross special live movie. Oh, you even get to go on like the flight deck? It's beautiful. Oh, here we go. Who's ready for a premium Macross concert? It's really interesting that they only let one person in at a time because like this, this whole thing could be an entire like display. There's a famous uh, remix of one of the Macross songs that's set to uh, September. I'll probably uh, try out this series at some point. All I know it from is the fact that every time there's an Ami Ami night, anything Macross just ends up crashing the site, period. If you want to experience this on your own, please download this game within the next few days before it goes away, and you can have the sound on all you want and listen to these performances. I've experienced pretty much everything that this lovely convention has to offer for now. I gotta find the final fragment of crystal, and it is something related to two birds, which is apparently part of the flight deck, which is where we're going next. Oh, uh, there's also the theater too. Oh, we have a new friend, Ruin Ruin. Hello! Hi, friend. No, wait, come back. Theater plays TGS's official programs live. Check the schedule on the web from the button behind. Let's enjoy watching them together on a large screen. Let's give it a quick check out. I don't know, is this gonna open like a Twitch stream or how's this gonna work? Yes, I know exactly where I am. Um, am I in the Shadow Realm? What just happened? Maybe this is a bad idea. <laughs> Does anybody know what's going on? Oh, I see some text. I think it's part of the broadcast, but it's freaking out because it's like, wait, uh, what's happening, man? I don't know what, what's, what's going on. Okay, well, that was the theater. <laughs> that was the theater and uh, we're not going back in there. Alrighty, well, there's only one thing left to do besides find that last thing and that is to go to the VR costume port. Take a peek at the costumes being loaded board a transport drone, and fly to the game float sky. Enjoy your time at the VR costume port. To fly to the game float sky now, press the button. Wow. Yeah, they, they have a whole like separate area for all the costume stuff. It's really, really cool. You can watch all this on their official video. This is the door technology. It's like a separate app. It lets you change your VR costume characters. It's really cool. Oh. Press the button. Oh, there's point code. We got them all. Welcome to the VR costume port. Nice. Here's our costume list. Take a peek at the costumes being loaded. Let's just grab this real quick and move out of the way. We have a um, we have a pretty outfit. We have um, some kind of Megumin, but not really. Uh, Professor Layton, a uh, security guard, some kind of uh, spaceport person. Uh, fox, another fox, another fox. Uh, the Tower of Juraga guy. Oh, there's a person there. No idea who that is. Don't know what the bottom left second one is. Uh, Lacrimosa of Dana. That's probably the mobile game. Uh, the Fox and also Ainz Urgon. I think these are just AIs. These aren't people. Yeah. This is super impressive. Look at how cute this is. Straight up Professor Layton. I love these. Oh, it's a it's a Yis. Ah, Yis. Flight to Game Float Sky. So you get to go and take off to Gameflow Sky now. Take off toward a dream. Gameflow Sky is another VR venue of Tokyo Game Show. 
It is built in door, a VR space developed by NTT. Get on the transport drone and take off to Gameflow Sky now. Let's go. Oh, that opened up a separate web page. Uh, this is awkward. There's an English room. Oh, I see. All right. This is like a separate browser window that opens up that lets you go enter a room to go talk to people. Should I go to the effort of like setting up an entire different browser window just to like get this to work? Before that, I'm just gonna chill here and start reading these descriptions. Okay, so we do have all the fragments of crystal. Let's actually talk to this person really quick. You found 84 fragments of crystal. Still not enough. Current crystal status is level two. Some fragments detected. The system will freeze in a few days unless there's full recovery. So that means that everyone around the world is currently working on getting these fragments. You gotta get them all. I'm gonna take a quick look at everything we have here. Point Co. Because it is a point character, it is Point Co. Makes sense. A parakeet born from such a pun. It should be, but there is also a theory that it is apparent because it has wings on its head. What? The Point Co. brothers want to teach the goodness of D Point but the timing is sometimes bad, ooh. Uh, a tile born from those who love Othelonia. So basically like a mobile Othello game, I think. Megido 72 is that cool uh, mobile RPG that looks, it's got some fun designs, but again, it's like a, if it's on mobile, I will probably not play it, unfortunately. A stuffed figure wearing key visual costume from the Macross crossover live 2019. A Hoodle doll. Luminous, I cannot read that. Pac-Man, the ghosts chasing Pac-Man. <laughs> Pixel art of the Mishima family from Tekken 7. Attack on Titan, the final operation to retake Wall Maria, the fight against Beast Titan. Only in Hexaride can you experience the full story. Well, looks like I've already experienced all of Attack on Titan then. <laughs> what a chump. The Nobunaga, Dynasty Warriors, Sonic already read, Shimigami Tensei, already read it. Kazuguruma, the pinwheel from this thing. I thought that it was a cooking game. I don't know what game I saw. Uh, Join the fight against evil in Castlevania Advance Collection. Monster Hunter was 2004, that's insane. Tsukino hails from Monster Hunter Stories Two Wings of Ruin and serves as the palico of the young hunter Kyle. Her catchphrase is Moon's Blessings Emerge. Expert in stealth, she is often disguised as other felines. Eh, Palamute's a little canine buddy, so cute. Uh, Monhun Boo is Japan's official Monster Hunter fan club. Oh, that's interesting. I was wondering what that was. It's from 2009. Wow. Pixel Remaster. Still Cat Man, it's the destiny of mortals. Puzzle Bobble, aim, shoot, and pop. It's Bub's 35th birthday, and Taito's beloved bubble bursting dragons. Again, their first ever 3D adventure in Puzzle Bobble 3D. Well, they say 3D, but they don't mean like platforming, they mean like in VR. Colorful orbs. Same description. And Tamiko is an AI born from TV Tokyo's Today's The Day To Do conference. Currently working as an AI VTuber on eSports High TV. Automatically collects a large amount of popular text and is learning with the latest deep learning GPT. Uh, there's the eSports channel, the Takagi-san stuff. If you ever wanted to, I can't say I've ever wanted that, but I'm sure there's people that had, that are very excited for this. Uh, D-side trauma ray. Uh, something about weirds? Quaster? <laughs> Jessica Claiborne. That's a cool name. Musashi is the huge robot or rogue in Ixia. Draktor. I love these names. The anime is airing October 1st. Wait, it's October 1st in Japan right now. I might actually check that out since it'll be out a whole month before the game, apparently. Varkun used to be slender even in the VR space. He wanted to make it easier for everyone to see, but before he knew it, he became plus size. By the way, the setting changes from time to time. Good on you, Varkun. Don't let others dictate what you need to look like or who you are. Be true to who you think you should be. Something about stairs in a spotlight, Dyschronia, Altidis, Beyond Kronos, all these crazy terms. I can't keep up with all this. Altdeus, Kronos Universe. Here's the Famitsu shirt. Game no Dengeki as known as the digging in depth game media. Ooh, I can dig that. If you have equipped this t-shirt, your passion for games may be stronger. I don't think any stronger though. I mean, like I, I, my passion is very strong right now. All right, we get from Mitsu. Did cool choice already. This is all the TGS posters, and I think that's everything because these are just the other. Um, these are the official shirts we went through already. Yeah, 
So that's all the fragments of crystal. We did it. We have completed Tokyo Game Show VR 2021, except for the Sky Deck, which if you want to see me fumble around for a little bit, I can get that to work, I think. All right, we're gonna exit out of the Tokyo Game Show VR 2021, and we're going to do the big sky stuff that has the costumes and the VTubers, all sorts of cool things. It's gonna be a fun time, assuming it loads. If it doesn't load, this is gonna be very awkward. <laughs> Blam! We did it. Welcome to the Game Float Sky entrance. English. Let's join. Here we go. A little jittery. Also, the volume's pretty low. It's not that bad, I guess. Oh gosh. Uh, Q and E to rotate. Nobody else is here. Use the invite button. Uh, no, thank you. Why is there like a Minecraft block sound when I rotate? Yeah, I was assuming this is all part of the app natively, so it's a little bit of a surprise to like jump into this, but you know, I, I, I can get it to work. Uh, the ambassadors are the Omega sisters who are, I guess they're just like a, a pair of um, VTubers. I've never heard of them, but apparently they're very popular. Dig a VTuber when? <laughs> I mean, I did just have the PNG dig it, but because I was too lazy to set up my camera, do I like immediately pivot from, hey, you can see me now. I'm a Sobble tuber. <laughs> This sounds like a, like a jaunty Kevin McLeod song, you know. Dun, 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 dun. Also, there's someone here. Hello, whoever's here. Oh, that was you, Jen. Hi. <laughs> I didn't know that was you. <laughs> oh my goodness, hello. How'd you find me? It's almost like I'm the only person in the English area. How do I adjust my me? Oh, that's not, that's not that bad, I guess. Uh, how do I, how do I like, change all this oh this is interesting are these free can i be a poppy <laughs> wow such brows and many vtube uh thank you for also joining me in this <laughs> even more obscure <laughs> go to the game float sky yes that is where we want to go. There's a cargo plane that is delivering, well, there's multiple cargo planes. They're delivering all sorts of cool costumes and stuff. Pictures, videos, and SNS are indeed allowed. This whole convention is pretty sweet. Enter the room. Uh-oh. Hey, Jen's here. How's it going, Jen? You made it here too. <laughs> hmm. Is this death loop? This might be death loop. <laughs> Did I need to hit the other button? How how do? How get over? What a very sad way to end the stream. How do I do this? I don't know. Oh, we made it. It had to reload and then here we are. We have entered the VR costume shop. Look at this fashion. Look at these characters. Oh, is this a live stream? Hidden notes. Oh, this is showing off like indie games and stuff. Oh, that's really cool. T-shirt avatar is now free. Enter this on the X market. So there's like a linking thing here between X market, door, uh, the seed, roid hub, all this stuff. It seems a little complex, but I guess you're supposed to use it in other places besides this convention. Uh, what else do we have here? Yeah, here's the VR costume shop. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, Pat Labor, Professor Layton, uh, Disgaea, Witch in the Hundred Night. I'll check out, um, oh. So they have the, the rotation controls because if you try to move it with the, with the right, it's basically like the, the VR um, little hollow ring that they, they send you to places with. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to buy. These are all official shirts. So there's like Amazon exclusive, VR hoodies. We'll always have games. A lot of Amazon exclusive stuff. TGS, TGS. There's the really cool main visual. I like that shirt a lot. It's very cool. Uh, but for now, I think I'm going to go to area A just to see what the shop looks like. I think we lost Jen somewhere back there. <laughs> I just charged on ahead as usual. Let's see what happens. Oh, um, that just kicked me out. OK, there's actually like there's people in here. Do I go in there? I'll go in the second one. I'm very curious. This door interface stuff is very fascinating. I'm just not quite sure um, how it all works. Here we go. VR costume shop A. 
Oh, this is cool. Okay. Uh, so it's all tied to like the make avatar stuff, the X market, X marks the spot, all that stuff. Wow, this is very intricate. Oh, this literally has like all the costumes. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. All right. Uh Interesting. So I wonder if uh, this is what they mean when they say they rotate the VTubers out. Uh, I guess we'll take a look at some of the costumes first. I don't know who these are. This is obviously Ainz Ugon from Overlord. I don't know. Um, basically, you can just buy these for your, your door. These are exclusive for when you use your door app everywhere else. I don't know. I don't know any of this stuff, but it's really cool to experience. So I guess we'll head back to, um, uh, how do I get back though? <laughs> Hold on a second. This is a very awkward way to end the stream, but I will go through the obscure stuff. Actually, did I, I might've selected the Japanese one by mistake, but I wasn't paying attention, sorry. What I'm gonna do is I'll check the other room and I guess we'll call it because I don't think there's anything else here, but it's very interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go to area B now. And I guess at, at minimum, we can take a nice look at some of these other cool costumes and get that. I want the Professor Layton costume, but I'm, I'm not gonna be using this after I'm done playing. So I don't know. All is said and done, this has been really fun. I really enjoyed this very unique experience that I never would have seen otherwise. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I went to the Japanese one by mistake earlier, and I'm just a dummy. Don't worry about it. This talks about the make avatar. You can make characters without having CG knowledge. It's really cool. Uh, you can get a free poster, all sorts of goodies. This is one of the Omega sisters, I guess. Uh, over here is the basic make avatar stuff, I think. Goku Polly, <laughs> extremely low poly avatar. That's a big vibe. Oh, here we go. We got, um, oh, specifically these are characters. I thought that was like just the printy and a, an outfit. Okay. Disgaea stuff. Oh, there's a portal that takes you to the other one. I didn't even notice that. Uh, this is the yeast stuff. I don't know these people. I, I've heard that eight is really good. I still need to play it. But now nine is out, right? Or is that coming out soon? Anyway, here's Professor Herschel Layton himself. My dude. Can I go up to the top? No, of course not. Oh gosh, where am I? Help. Send help. Is that, is that it? Is this the end of the stream? <laughs> Okay, well, um, I think that's everything. Man, that was really fun. That was an absolute blast. Tokyo Game Show VR 2021 was just, that was so much fun. And it was totally free. I feel bad. I feel like I need to go buy some games now. <laughs> that was awesome. We've done everything. We went to the main float itself. We went to the uh, sky stuff. We explored, had a good time, had all the experiences. Again, no volume or trailers, but that stuff you can do separately. I'm gonna watch those on my own. It's been four and a half hours. Thank you for joining me, Jen. I don't know if you're still here, but I really appreciate that. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> we need more conventions digitally. We really do. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this stream. Thank you so much everyone for joining me for this insanely cool free digital convention. And if you haven't played this yet, which I assume you probably haven't, please go get it. If the time has passed where it's expired, I'm sorry, but this hopefully proves to be a nice document of the wonderful fun and joy it brought. I'm really bad at ending these because I don't want to leave. I have to stop myself though. <laughs> Thanks everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.